Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Holy guacamole, I got a load of beauty empties in this bag. Yes, I'm a freak and I do collect everything. So I totally, totally wanted to go over everything. Some products might not be exactly empty, but some stuff I am throwing away. So uh, let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If this is the first video you are seeing from me, welcome. My name is Katie, otherwise known as Put Your Makeup On, and I post videos like this every Monday and Thursday. Before you leave today, be sure you click that subscribe button. And while we're at it, let's give this video a thumbs up if you know that you enjoyed it. Thumbsing up, subscribing, liking, commenting. I love it all. So, I seriously have so much stuff in here I don't even know where I want to begin I feel like wipes are annoying to buy because they literally go in the garbage but I know I, I use them and I like them so whatever I'm just gonna have to suck it up every time I buy something so I have here three wipes that I went through the Sephora collection the coconut ones I really like these Neutrogena no those are just kind of there so I those are empty I have an eye patch mask that I used once and I really like the Sephora brand this is the anti-fatigue energizing Sephora brand super affordable at Sephora and I really like these I have a couple that I do um, have that I definitely am going to continue to use but if your eyes just feel like super uber tired I tend to rub my eyes a lot and I feel like my under eye area never really looks the greatest so these are fantastic actually bought from Daiso when I was in San Francisco this is the aloe vera facial mask it, it was okay I have used better sheet mask I've come to the conclusion that not all sheet masks are made the same. They all feel different. Some materials are different. I did notice my skin feel uh, a little bit calmer afterwards, so this was okay. This is a hair intense deep conditioning hair treatment from uh, Argon Oil. This was actually really good, but really sticky. I don't think I'll be repurchasing this anytime soon. I like the smell of it, but it was just like really sticky, so... But it was, it was, you know, it did the job. This I really, really enjoyed. I got this from uh, Glossy Box like about a year or two ago when I did have, no, probably even longer than that. Yeah, I, I had canceled that Glossy Box a long time ago. This is the Novax Brazilian Carotene as there's a piece of hair on it. Hello. Um, this is a deep conditioning treatment and I love this. I put it on all over my hair. I leave it on for about a good like an hour or two before I go into the shower. And something about this just makes my hair really, really easy to manage to blow dry my hair. Um, if you guys find this, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's like from Brazil. Um, it has uh, vitamin E in it, keratin, so I really like this. This uh, is technically not empty. I got this on clearance. This is from Alba Botanicals. It's a mini peel. I thought this would be really cool, and it was not. <laughs> uh, I got it on clearance for like $4.88, so uh, I think normally it was 7 so, you know, I kind of feel bad that I'm throwing it away as I drop it, but the peel itself just wasn't that good. I go to put it on and like it peeled off in like little bits, so I kind of feel bad it's a full size. I might maybe give it away to someone, but it just wasn't even that good. I like Alba as the brand, but this thing, this product just was a dud to me, so goodbye. This is the Algenist uh, Genius Ultimate Anti-Aging anti-aging eye cream something about the consistency it like it wasn't really like a cream like do you guys see like it's it's not even a cream I don't know I just I never really liked the way it applied and after like three hours later my under eye area was already all dry out like I just did not like it not a fan I don't even halfway like it to give it away to someone because the formulation like itself just really didn't even feel that good onto my skin so I'm not even gonna bother with this anymore. 
the Clinique Smart Custom Repair Eye Cream, which came in a nice jar pump style packaging. I really did enjoy this. It was really nice. The bottle itself got so grimy. I'm like so embarrassed to show you that. That's one of the reasons why I don't like pump style packaging. So, but this was very good and I did enjoy it. I have here the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. Uh, this is a classic Sephora moisturizer. I really do like it. I like the jar of this. I'm, I kind of feel like I want to keep the jar, but I know it'll just collect dust if I do. Uh, but this cream is really nice. It just kind of smooths everything out. I love it under makeup. Hydrates the skin. Not sticky, not greasy. It absorbs really well. And um, yeah, it's a very, very good moisturizer for all different skin types. This is the Glam Glow, what do you call it, the Paramide Dual Cleanse Treatment, which I got in a BB jar like this. And this is a really nice mud mask from Glam Glow. It brightened, it tightened, it lightened. I just love everything about Glam Glow. Their masks are very, very good. And yeah, this guy, the Super Mud Dual Cleanse. Uh, just kind of cleans all the gunk out of your skin. So the green one, definitely recommend. Another eye cream that I have is a, from Lancome, the Genufique Light Pearl Eye Illuminator Eye Cream. Super fancy. This is the eye cream that has the really cool applicator on here. I feel like I have some left, and I was even actually debating on keeping this to rub my other eye creams on because of the cooling tip to this. Very innovative type of product, and I liked it better for nighttime, not so much under makeup. For some reason, this eye cream didn't really set that well under makeup, but I liked applying it, so, you know, it was good. I definitely think it's worth it. This guy I've had for such a long time, and I'm actually pretty sad that it's gone. This is the Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. This is probably the most intense orange-scented lotion I've ever smelt in my life. I love this. Pacifica, I know you can get in Target. I know they have a lot of other different scents, um, but the Blood Orange one was so unique, and I'm kind of debating on buying a new one when like the summertime comes around but yeah this was really really good the bifacil from lancome probably one of the most powerful makeup removers i've ever seen in my entire life i am actually pretty sad that this is gone but i know i'll probably get more in the future and yeah it is it's intense for good reason because it's amazing <laughs> this i really really enjoyed i have been using a lot of these types of products for the past couple months now and I I really like this. This is the Bosha Saki Treatment Water which came in a little jar like this. This is basically an essence where you pop it in the palm of your hands, you kind of work it between your hands and press it all into your skin and it makes your serums and moisturizers sink in more effectively and this I feel made such a difference in my skincare routine. I really like this. I'm using a Tatcha Essence right now, and then I'm using another Caudalie Vino Perfect Essence right now. So essences, I'm obsessed with. I think that's it as far as skincare goes. Let's move on to some makeup product. This I definitely know that I'm throwing away. This is Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I like the brand. The brand itself is really nice. But the product, I just, it's a little too dry. I can't really get anything out of here. And the color, it's just kind of meh, in my opinion. Um, so, the packaging is really cute, though. Um, you know, that's that. And then this is from Mica Beauty Cosmetics. This is another one of those, like, tinted lip balm treatment things. But the color, I, I don't know. I just, it's, it's. I don't know, you guys. The color, the color's pretty, though. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it on my eyes. I don't know. Like, these products I just can't get on board with. I don't know. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad that I'm throwing them away because the colors are pretty. The Belle Pierre one I'm definitely throwing away, though. I, I sadly am throwing this away. This is from Benefit, and this is the Stay Flawless 15-Hour Primer. This, I feel, now that I think of it, came out way before the Milk Blur Stick. It has that silicone 
type of uh, like consistency to it, but unfortunately mine did break and it just dried out. You guys could see there. I know that this was a problem when the when this first did launch and all the uh, beauty YouTubers were saying that the whole thing popped out. I just can't get on board with it. I use it for a couple times and my makeup didn't really even look that good. So I'm just saying goodbye to this. Sorry, Benefit. I love you as a brand, but that product was just no bueno for me. We have here from NYX. This is the Sculpt Highlight Duo. I have come to the conclusion that I do not like cream contouring. Uh, this is a, the product itself is good. I'm not going to bash the product, but um, for me personally, I just didn't like the way that it looked, to be quite honest with you. Even the highlight shade, it's just not even that highlighty, which they look like this. Like, it just kind of looks like a poopy brown color, and I'm not about that poopy brown color on my face. So, um, again, same thing. I love you, NYX. Your brand and your products are amazing. But this product and the coloring is not a fan of. Another product from NYX that I am so sad that I'm throwing this away. It unfortunately did dry out on me. We've been through a lot. We've been through some fun looks together. This is the Dramatic Sparkle Studio Effect Glitter Liner and the gold color. I kind of want to rebuy this because glitter eyeliners I think are so fun to use and this was a very easy product to use. However, the last couple times it just kind of, it got kind of glumpy and gloopy. Glumpy? Is that even a word? Um, but this, yeah sad but you know what are you gonna do and then the same thing for a sephora collection i got a set of all these mini glitter liners and this one just didn't um like it's all dried out i am throwing this away purely because it is rather old i haven't really used it that much because i felt like the foundation itself was just kind of mediocre not gonna lie to you keeping it real um, this is the CoverGirl Chew Blend Liquid Makeup, and I have the shade M3. I, you know, again, it's one of those foundations that look nice, but I'm not, you know, running to the store to buy a new one. So, again, it, it's, it's just rather old. I've had it for over four years now. This bottle just needs to go. It needs to be thrown away. And there's no way I'm putting this on my face and running the risk of breaking out. So, this foundation, you guys... I am seriously, next chance I am in Target or Walmart or the drugstore, I am 1,000% buying this foundation again. This is from Rimmel. This is the Lasting Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Foundation. Has an SPF of 20. I use in the shade Soft Beige. This is probably the most beautiful coverage foundation in the drugstore. Like, I even like this better than some of my other, like, Maybelline and Revlon foundations. Unfortunately, this is expired. It expired of August 2016. I did use it a little after the expiration date, but again, I truly don't want to run the risk of breaking out, um, even though it, there's such a, a, a good amount of product in here, but um, I just have a thing with expired products. I just, I can't. I physically cannot with expired makeup products, so oh, I'm so sorry. I love this foundation so much. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, it kills me to do that. This is all empty, and I'm, again, I'm totally going to buy it next chance I get. I love this concealer. This is the Superstay from Maybelline. Obviously, you could see that it is very well loved. All the writing came off. I love this. Beautiful coverage. Blended it out beautifully. Oh, my God. I love this. Like, this is probably one of the, like, only concealers that I was like scraping at like the very bottom to get every last little bit. This concealer, you guys, amazing. This concealer is not so amazing. This is from Hard Candy, the Glamouflage Light Blendable Duo Concealer. It's one of those concealers that has two sides on it. One's a little bit more yellow, one's a little bit more pink. But I really did find that it 
really didn't cover that much it really didn't blend out the best it was kind of dry so yeah not my cup of tea this sadly dried out on me and I'm so sad because I love this color this is some color pop this is the cream gel liner in the shade poppy and like it broke like that's so sad like I really love bright colors in my waterline especially especially for summer and this it broke I'm so sad color pop what the heck like reformulate these maybe I have the clear brow gel from Anastasia, probably my most favorite makeup item in my collection. A clear brow gel I cannot go a day without. I love this thing to death. One of the best clear brow gels I've ever, ever used. It just like super glues your brows. You don't gotta worry about your brows drooping or looking wonky throughout the day. Holds your brow pencil color into place really, really well. I already rebought a new one. And oh, I love this. I wish I had a never ending supply of this clear brow gel. I was kind of sad that it got weird. This is from Tarte. I bought this a while ago, and it is the clay paint liner. And let me tell you, this is amazing. The actual like liner itself, really, really nice pigmentation, glides on the eyes really effortlessly with any style of a brush. However, mine broke. Like it, like can you guys see that? Like this is where the actual product is supposed to come out of the little. Um, dish I guess you could say but for some reason it the whole thing just broke open and I'm careful with my products I'm not yanking or going crazy you know trying to open my things and I don't know why that happened with this thing I might rebuy it maybe in the future but I probably will hold off on that only because I have so many liners that I already have in my collection but this was such a bummer um, about the packaging. I kind of wish it was a different package. And then another product that I really tried to give a chance, but every time I wore it, within four or five hours later, my under eyes looked terrible. This is from Wet n Wild. This is from the Fer Fergie collection. And you could see I really gave this product a chance, but something about the formulation of it like I go to put it on and like nothing like comes off like I don't know they I kind of wish it was smoother um which is interesting because there's no talc and there's no mica in here it's silica so maybe that's the reasoning of why I didn't like it so yeah this was um kind of a dud you know so yeah whatever uh, so those are all of the products that I went through these past couple of months and yeah that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Don't forget to come back every Monday and Thursday for a brand new video and while we're at it let's give this video a thumbs up so I know to keep making monthly beauty empties and so that is it for today's video and I shall see you in the next one. Have a great day guys. Bye!